In this short video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to measure a pair of Bluetooth earbuds using Soundcheck and our free Bluetooth headphone sequence. We're going to use a head and torso simulator for the most realistic representation of how a human would hear. If this is outside your budget, you can use a simpler headphone test fixture or an ear coupler. I'll use the Portland Tool & Die Bluetooth interface to pair to the earphones and Audio Connect 2 will connect and power the TEDS microphones inside the ear simulators, as well as the SCM microphone that I use to calibrate the mouse simulator. We'll measure the left and right earphone frequency response, THD, send response of the microphone, and I'll also show the difference between left and right earphones. I already have Soundcheck up and running on my laptop with our standard headphone measurement sequence that you can download from our website. When I hit start, it asks if I want to pair my Bluetooth headphone. I'll say yes and turn on pairing mode. The white light is flashing and the Bluetooth interface is searching for any devices that are open for pairing. We see the AirPod Pros here, so I just hit OK. And once I'm connected, the light turns green to show it's paired. Now the sequence is prompting to insert the earphones. I'll put them in, and it wants to check the seal. This is important to make sure there is a good fit. You're going to need that to get good bass output. I'm going to say yes, and now the sequence is bringing up the signal generator playing pink noise in both ears. We can see the real-time analyzer is showing the frequency response of both left and right ear. I have a good seal on my right, but not on my left ear, so I've got to adjust that a little to get a snug fit. Now that I have a good seal on both ears, I can continue and we're ready to measure. We're using a step sign and 12th octave frequency resolution from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and we'll see the frequency response as well as the diffuse field corrected response, which takes into account the ear simulator's response on hats. Here's our results. We can see the frequency response, the green and red lines for left and right ear, and the diffuse field corrected, the purple line. Ideally, this should be more or less flat when we subtract out the ear simulators, so this looks pretty good. Down below, we see the difference between the left and right ear, the tracking. Ideally, this would be zero, but we have a little notch here, so there's a small difference. On the bottom graph, we have total harmonic distortion for a left and right ear. Now it's asking if I want to measure the microphone response, otherwise known as the send response, and I say yes. We'll hear pink noise played out of the mouth and we'll get the frequency response of the microphone. So essentially I'm done now, and it's checking if I want to save the results. I also have information about the sensitivity of my earbuds and their microphone. That's a very basic Bluetooth headphone test. There are many other measurements we can make on headphones and earbuds, and we'll show you those in another video. As you can see, measuring Bluetooth earbuds or any type of Bluetooth headphone is quick and easy with Soundcheck. If you'd like to give it a try, contact us for a demo.